Okay? And that's step, well, that's probably step two. Step one is drawing in all the forces. Step two is taking the equations. And what I'm now going to do is show you how to solve the equations. So I'm going to rewrite these nice and simple. But when I rewrite them, we are going to uh, rewrite them in a special manner. Okay? Kieran, you okay for a minute? Yeah. All right, here we go. First equation, I'm going to get rid of all of these, and you're going to call them out to me. We don't need a diagram anymore. All we need are four equations, and it's going to be relatively straightforward. What was my first equation? Five five G minus G equals five MA. Second equation. T minus two S equals zero. T, and I'm going to put my minus two S over here, equals zero. Third equation. S minus MG. S minus MG. Equals M bracket A. So if I multiply it out, it would be MA plus MB. And we want to go, that's the equation. S minus 3MG. S minus 3MG. Equals 3MA minus 3MB. There we go. One, two, three. So as I've written it out, can you see a pattern from the way I was writing it? Yeah. You want to keep similar variables, similar terms under each other. So all the S's are here in a column, all the MG's are here in a column, T's are here, MA's and MB's. We've got how many unknowns here? Three. Four. Nope. Four. Four. A T and S, an A and a B. So we have four equations, four unknowns, so it can be solved. What I'm going to do here, and you've got to take take a step back and say, geez, we could be all over the place here. You could be writing five pages of quadratic or equations trying to solve them. You sort of plan this out in advance and say, what I'd like to have is two equations and two unknowns. And then I could just do my simultaneous equations and solve them. So that's what I'm going to do here. And if I give you a quick tip, I'm going to get two equations are going to be just a combination of A's and B's. And you might have MG's there. In fact, there's no MG's here, but an MG wouldn't be an unknown. So I need to do something with these equations to give me a combination of just A's and B's. If I added up all four, and I know this just because I've done it before, you're unlikely to get it just by looking at it. If I added up all four equations, so I did one plus two plus three plus four, what would happen to my S's? They cancel. What would happen to my T's? Cancel. So what am I left with? MG, MG equals, equals nine, nine and A minus two and B. And that becomes equation 5. So that's one equation with just two unknowns. Now I would like another equation with the same two unknowns. What would I do to get the same two equations? Or to get another equation? Uh, minus 4 from J. If I just did these two equations by themselves, the S would cancel. So what do I have to do? I said 3 minus 4, is that it? Yeah. 3 minus 4 would be what? Okay. Okay, here's a quick tip. There's going to be a problem when you do this sort of stuff in your head without writing it out. If I'm minusing it, the easiest way to do it is put in a minus sign. Change the signs of everything right in the net. But if you're changing the signs, you want to show that I'm changing it from what it was at the beginning. So I'd still like to know what it was at the beginning. So I'm making that a minus. That's a minus, so I'm making it a plus. That's a plus, so I'm going to make it a minus. And that's a minus, so I'm just going to make it this. Now, if I add them directly, what am I going to get? It's easier. 2mg. 2mg. Equals. Minus 2 in A. Plus 4mg. That there, boys and girls, is equation number 6. Two equations, two unknowns, so I want to solve you by solving. In this case, you would multiply the top line by 2, change the sign of one of them, and add. That gives you a value for A, that gives you a value for B. How will I get a value for T and S? You can stop it back in, that's all the received. So the trick here, when you've got your four equations, is to arrange them, similar terms over similar, and it's always going to be all four of them added together to give you one equation, and then just the three minus the four equation to give you a second one, and then you solve. All right, you're on? Yeah. You got all of that? Yeah. We're done, you can switch it off, thank you. Yeah. Okay, a couple of things I forgot, pointed out by Jamie, I could cancel all the M's. Um, so I want to solve both of these, so my 5 equation now becomes, so 5 equation 5 multiplied by 2 is going to become 
two G uh, equals what? Eighteen A minus four B. Is that it? Yeah. And the equation number six is going to stay the same. It's two G equals minus two A plus four B. Yeah. And I'm looking at it like this. I'm quite liable to make a mistake. So just as we currently go. Um, 4G equals 16. Those guys cancel. So 4G is equal to 16A. A equals G over 4. Now I can sub back in to get B. I can sub back in to get T. And I can sub back in to get a value for S. So that's very straightforward. Yes? You're holding it there. The reason you're staying on that camera um, here on is because there's one other question I want to show you. If I take an example here, it would be nice if I had one in advance. If, looking at page 148, number one, a light movable pulley C, I want to see if there is a pulley. If I could just draw it out. Remember where the pulley was light? If the pulley wasn't light, can you grab this here on? Do you have to move over there to put it together? Once again, coming down, you had a, an S, and you had an S, and you had a T. If you were told that the pulley wasn't light, but the pulley had a mass of 3m, what would your equation of motion be? Again, we'll assume the overall thing here was going up, so we'll assume this is going up. So it's an upward force minus our downward force. What am I upward force? T. Downward force. 3mg. Yeah. Minus 2s, and now you've got another force acting downwards because that itself has got a weight. And weight is the pull of the earth's gravity pulling it down. Minus 3 in g equals what? 3ma. 3ma. So where we had our four equations, instead of saying t minus 2s is 0, you've now got a t minus a 2s. Make sure you put the mg's under where they're supposed to be in the columns, and on the right hand side you'd have a 3ma, but you would proceed the very same as before. It'll still work out the same way. No, you can check it out. I think we're